In order to uh, make the connecting wire for the short, short circuit demonstration, you're going to need to get some lamp cord. I've got a little bit here. Any hardware shop, uh, shop store will have it. And you're also going to have to buy some uh, clips. Um, these clips will be available in auto supply shops, some hardware stores, Canadian Tire, that sort of thing. Not very expensive. Probably five or six dollars for this, and this will be available for a few cents a foot. Um, and you have to decide how long you want it. First thing you're going to have to do is take the lamp cord and split it in half. So you'll need an X-Acto knife or some sharp knife to start the, the split. Just a little tiny cut like that to start the lamp cord separating it. And then just pull it apart. Yeah, right, make it easy. Like this. You're separating the lamp cord so you get one continuous conductor. Half of the conductor can be saved when you melt the lamp cord during the demonstration. The next thing you'll have to do is remove the insulation from the end of the lamp cord. The best thing to use will be to use a wire stripper like this, but you can also use a, a sharp knife like this X-Acto knife. Um, the wire strippers I'll show you need about, doesn't really matter how much insulation comes off, you simply cut the wire uh, and then ease off on the handle here and slide the insulation off just like that. Twist the wire to make it nice and neat and you've got the insulation off one end of your wire. The end, other end of this wire, I'll use the knife. In order to cut the insulation off using the knife, you can put the wire on your finger like this and then use the sharp knife. Now the knife will not cut your finger because the wire is preventing it from going into your finger. So you can just very carefully ease along the edge of the wire like that to carve off the insulation. You bend it out, get all the strands out of the lamp cord that you can. Obviously, this is a little more difficult than using the wire cutter. So you have something like that. Then you can use a sharp knife to cut off the rest of the insulation like this. Again, twist the strands of the cord so they don't get messed up. Now using these clips, they're about five or six dollars. What you have to do is take off the insulation like that. Oops, almost forgot. Slide it over the cord put it in underneath there. You can wrap it around a few times, something like that. It's actually made for heavier gauge wire. These two little tabs with pliers like this just get bent around to grab the insulation so it doesn't uh, slip out. It should be very tight there. And then you have to squash this part down glue it so that the wire is tightly pinched. You have a good conduction to the uh, clip there. Slide the insulation back over it and you're done. I'll do the other end. Same thing happens. Again, remove the cord, slip the wire in. Bend it around. The two tabs get tightened in to hold the, uh, on the insulation so the clips don't slip off. Especially if the students are excited, this, they tend to pull on the cord. So it's good to have a nice solid connection there. And then get a thinner pliers to pinch the, the uh, wire to the clamp. Oh, made a little mistake there. And what did I forget? <laughs> well, a lesson learned. Make sure you put this onto the cord before you connect it up like that or you will be permanently holding the clip like this. Not that it really matters. The voltage that's involved, you will not get a shock using this kind of 